Kids 105, 43, and 13, 40. We're hip hop and RB Lives the Day Party with your boy DJ D Sewell. Y'all, let's discuss some hip hop news now. It is time for D Sewell. What the hell happened today? And a lot of stuff happened today. Y'all, we got to start off and talk about P from Quality Control, QCP. Uh, he's making some big signings. He signed Atlanta artists BOAQG and BOA Huncho. They have the viral song Voodoo. Let's go to a clip of it right quick. Yeah, that's the song everybody using on their reels and stuff. And uh, Q from PC just signed them. And then he went to F Town and signed Gloss Up. She's homies with Glorilla, who was just signed to CMG. Uh, check out Gloss Up real quick. You already see he got us shot. You know what I'm saying? She got her watch and her chain. But big shout out to Gloss Up, Glorilla. Memphis is killing the game. What's crazy? We were talking like two years ago and how Memphis was killing the game then. And like, it ain't stopped. You know what I'm saying? It's just a new breed of artists just coming up. One time for Gloss Up, Glorilla, and the whole city of Memphis. Y'all killing it. Y'all in other news, Jesus and Mero, they called it quits. This show was on Showtime for five years. Uh, they're going to pursue separate endeavors. The duo first emerged in like 2013 uh, with a big Bodega Boys podcast. I got to be 1,000 with y'all. I wasn't big fans of Jesus and Mero. I checked them out. It wasn't my cup of tea. I just leave it at that. But I know a lot of people rock with them. And a lot of their fans were sad to see them split up. But uh, big shout out to Jesus and Mero. I know they had an imprint in the game. So they was doing their thing. Y'all in other news, and talking about the game, the artist, the game, finally has a release date. His album, Drillmatic, Heart vs. Mind, is coming out August 12th. It's produced by Hit Boy. Uh, 30 songs on that thing. I don't know what the hell the game doing. And the game has had like four or five pushbacks, which is not going to help them album sales. But he said it's been because of publishing, sample clearances, and other administrative tasks that he had to push it back. Whatever, game. This has been a terrible rollout. Big facts. The game and Joy Badass are going neck and neck for the worst album rollouts of 2022. Y'all, in other news, Boosie was doing a recent interview, and he said that he believes that labels are staying away from game-banging type music. He thinks the industry is moving towards more safer music. He believes that what just happened to YSL is an example of that. I kind of disagree with Boosie Boo. Rap is popular. All different type of people love all different type of rap. Y'all, Moneybag Yo, one of the biggest artists on the planet. NBA Youngboy is one of the biggest artists on the planet. And they making straight game banging music, straight out. You know what I'm saying? So I disagree with Boosie. You know what I'm saying? If you got good music, people rocking with you regardless of what you're talking about. Y'all, in other news, Trina talked about the Kaya beef. Kaya had been calling Trina out. She had wanted a versus battle with Trina. Trina was like, I don't even know Kaya. And Trina said the level of disrespect just went too far. Trina said she really from the hood. And next time she see Kaya, it's on on site. That's what Trina said. Y'all straight out. Y'all, last but not least, Method Man was doing a recent interview, and he was talking about how artists shouldn't sign to other artists. He was saying that that artist doesn't have the time to invest in you unless they have a staff. That's the only way that you should sign to another artist. This is another thing that I disagree with. You just got to sign with the right artist. You know what I'm saying? You can sign with an artist that did the stuff that you're trying to do, and they can help you move a lot of steps quicker. You know what I'm saying? But we've seen examples of what this already worked, like Lil Wayne, Diddy, Yo Gotti, Rick Ross, Gucci Mane. So, Method Man, I hear you, man, but uh, not really. You just got to sign with the right artist. Yeah, that's what the hell happened today. I'll be back tomorrow, 2 p.m. sharp. It's your favorite DJ on your favorite radio station, DJ D. Sewell, right here on Kits 105.3, 1340.